When you minify your website's files, you can shave some valuable time off of your site's load speed. Now, we aren't talking about cutting your page load speed in half or anything, but any little bit helps. The term minify is programming lingo that describes the process of removing unnecessary characters in the source code. Thankfully, you don't have to be a developer or know any of the programming languages in order to minify your site's files. We compiled a list of online tools that will do it for you, and you can view the entire list by checking out the blog post in the description. If you're looking for some offline tools to minify your code locally, you can use CSS MinJS or YUI compressor. Many of the online tools have a similar process, and for this example, I'm going to use the Minify tools from minifycode.com. First, we're gonna click the CSS Minifier tab. Then we're gonna take all of my CSS code and paste it in. Now we just click Minify CSS, and there we go. Now we can just copy this code and replace it in my original file. And now you would repeat the same process to minify your JavaScript or HTML files. Now let's talk about how to do this in WordPress using plugins. The first plugin is Auto Optimize, and this is free. It's probably one of the most popular Minify plugins out there. And it's popular because it's easy to use and full of powerful performance features. It can aggregate, minify, and cache your code. As a bonus, you have additional options for optimizing Google Fonts, images, and more. To use Auto Optimize, download, install, and activate the plugin, and then navigate to Settings, Auto Optimize. Now we just choose which code we want to be optimized, and then we just have to click Save Changes, and we're all set. As you can see, it's pretty simple and very powerful. There are other free WordPress plugin options, and that includes Fast Velocity Minify, W3 Total Cache, and WP Fastest Cache. And just like that, you're now a master at minifying your website's files. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.